day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Father, we truly thank you. Yes. We thank you for another day. Yes. That you have given us the ability Come on. To, to move and have our being. Yes. Given us, so you, you woke us up. We had a right mind. We, we were able to breathe, to see, to move, Lord God. Yes. And have another chance to perfect ourselves yes. according to your will. Your will. So we thank you for thank that. You. Yes. Lord God, we look to you mm. for instructions. Yes. We look to you for verification. We look to you for answers, Lord God, to the issues that are before us. Yes. We pray that the Holy Spirit brings all revelation Yes. With clarity. Yes. Simplicity. Yes. So that we may understand yes. your word and your will for us in our lives. Yes. We look to fulfill the great commandments that you have given us for yes. this dispensation. And that is to love you with would... all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Yes. And to love one another. Come on now. Our purpose, Lord God, is to glorify you, that you be glorified, Lord God. Hallelujah. In your son who is in us. Yes. Yes. Have your way, Lord God, during this time of study, Lord God, mm. and of preparation, Lord God, so that we go to the war. <laughs> knowing that you have our back. Yes. So, so we welcome you, Lord. We welcome the Holy Spirit and we thank you thank for you. what will happen yes. during this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. And, and you know, that that's, that, that's an excellent uh, way of coming into what we're saying is that let thy will be done. Like that one song said, Thou will be done. Thou will be done. That's a song. I know I ain't saying good, but that's okay. But the bottom line is, <laughs> the whole purpose is, is to, to make sure we understand the will of God. Uh, when, when, when Christ was confronted by the devil, he, he responded by what is written. You know? So as we, as we, as the body of believers, we need to make sure we know what is written in his will for our lives, and all those we come in contact with. So the subject today is talking about what are the seven things that are an abomination to God so that we understand that we don't want to fall into things that God hates. We, you know, I like 11, Hebrews 11, 6 said, without faith it's impossible to please him. For, who to come to, for he to come to God must believe that he is, and he's a reward of those who diligently seek him. So we always want to do his will and understand what he displeases him and what actually uh, pleases him. And we want to please God. I mean, that's that's the whole thing about our life is to please God. So one of the things is let's make sure we don't we don't want to step over the line against God. Let's understand some of the scriptures here in Proverbs uh, 6, 16 to 19. And, and brother, if you don't mind, tell us. Tell me to us, what, what are these things that, that God hates? Man, it says, these six things does the Lord hate. Uh-huh. Yeah. Seven are an abomination unto him. Yes, sir. A proud look. Uh -uh. A lying tongue. Whoa. And hands that shed innocent blood. That's, that's bad. And a heart that devices wicked imagination. Yes. Keep Feet. That be swift in running to mischief. Oh man! A false witness that speaketh lies, yeah. and he that soweth discord among brethren. And, and, and that's that's why I think those are very important things to understand. Is 
we as, as believers, we want to understand that those things that displeases God. See, I look at when I look at proud look, I look at the fact is that that means I'm giving more pride to something instead of the glory to Him. Right? God says is to give God all the glory. Pride is something that has a tendency of being proud. Sometimes if we don't understand that your accomplishment or even the accomplishment of the people we love is because of God is the person that was behind that. You know, and was it, what if so I think uh, Saul when he said, or Paul when he said, in him we move and breathe and have our beings. Being. You know what yeah. I mean? So everything gives God the glory, give God the thanks. Because he's the one that made those accomplishments true. You know, like I think even David, when he did the David and Goliath, David didn't sit there and brag and boast about what what he did. He even when he confronted Goliath, he said, I come in the name of the Lord. And, and it's he that will deliver you into my hand. Huh? It, he the one is gonna cut your head off. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's always focusing toward god the father and even jesus when he preached he said i i only do what i've been what i saw my father do you know i'm only doing what he wills me to do so pride is it has a tendency to look toward what you accomplish without giving god any of the credit so we got to watch out for that the other one is lying now with this one is i think we all know that's an obvious one concerning a lying tongue most, most people uh some people got maybe in a habit of lying and then some of us have what we call little white lies, and then we got <laughs> and, or every occasional lie. What God is saying is, no, speak the truth. I mean, that's what we're supposed to preach anyway, right? The truth. The gospel is the truth. But if we speak lies, God is saying that is not acceptable to him. And we don't want to build, we don't build any foundation, we don't want to build any relationship uh, on, on lies. Because we know what happens when that goes, right? When, when we build, it's called like the house of cards, I guess, sometimes. When you build on sand, if you build your foundation on lies, you build it on sand, and eventually those things will crumble. So that's why he said, don't, 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 don't focus on, that's why he doesn't like in his, us to focus on lying. He wants us to speak truth. And the God, you know, I like it. I guess when Jesus was asked that question by Pontius Pilate, what he said, what is truth? You know? It is interesting because <laughs> I think, oh man, I just thought about this. Bro, the brother asked, the man's asking, what is true? That means what, it's like, I don't know what truth is, so all I know is what lies are. Yeah, the crazy thing is he was looking at truth and <laughs> asked what truth is. He asked truth, yeah. what is true? What is true? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And in, in my fact, that's a good way of witnessing too, say what is true? Jesus is. Because John 14, 6 said, I'm the way, the truth, and yeah. the life. Yeah. So when, when, when I'm talking to you, uh, when I'm ministering to you, when I'm presenting the gospel to you, I'm presenting Christ to you. Because he is the truth. Huh? Uh, matter of fact, that way you need to understand, see, if, if, don't look at me, because then you might see a lot. <laughs> but look at him. Because that's who I'm going to preach. I'm preaching him. Matter of fact, that takes the pressure off of me and you. When we say, I'm preaching him. Because then when somebody brings up something, uh, no, see, see, no, see, you're talking about what what Addison did. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you what, what, what I'm telling you about Jesus. And, and, and I'm telling you, follow him. Because he said he is the way. See, if I let you follow the pastor or the deacon, or any denomination and then when they stumble and fall then you're going to sit there and make get offended i'm saying let's focus on the truth speaking the truth is speaking the word i think that's why i like that centurion says speak what he said speak the word only yeah hey come on now so god that was said god said well watch what's coming out of our mouth and focus on what is truth instead of a lying tongue a lot of cases when we say something contrary to his will we're talking about having a lying tongue the one that, that I think is really, uh, I felt very uh, uh, sympathetic, but really all of this is, is matter, but the hands that shed innocent blood. 
that that's Jesus was the innocent blood that was crucified on that cross. You know? And 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 the fact is though he laid his life down for us. He allowed that to happen so that his blood can wash away our sin. But he he you know, I guess even when you did the lamb, you know, when it's crucified those lamb for for the cover of sin, you know, that 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 lamb didn't do anything wrong, you know? But yet it had to die for the before Christ came. That's what, what they were using to cover. That's why they had to use a lamb, didn't they? Yeah. Well, I tell you, you know what stands out in, in 17. Uh-huh. Um, you know, hands that shed innocent blood. That is the only sin that will send you to hell. Woo! Because at this particular point, the only Woo! innocent blood that was shed was Christ Woo! for the remission of sin. And if you deny him, Woo! that is your scripture. Woo! No, bro! No! Whoa! <laughs> That's a little deep, right? <laughs> you you basically saying the blood was a, innocent blood was shed and you rejected it. So therefore you're responsible. Wow. Wow. Or you you you, you have nothing to cover, you have nothing to address your sin. Yeah. Even though the original sin was I mean, his 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 death was for you. It was for you. Innocent blood. Innocent. Wow. Wow. Man. You know, and that's interesting. Because that was, you know, that I wonder when they, I wonder if the children of Israel even, no, they, they probably thought about that, did they? Or did they think about that? Because, you know, this has been, since it's written in, in the Old Testament, they did know that the lamb was innocent blood. They knew that. And all that you, was you, Huh? Even even thinking on that, you know, you, you can get caught up in in what is thought to be a ritual Woo! so much that you don't understand the purpose. You yeah. fail to to acknowledge its purpose over time because it is done repetitively mm. without thought. Yes, sir. You just know that this is something that you're required to do, and you do it. Wow. Almost like going to church. Oh, man. Come on now. Come on. So, you know, thank, thank God that we don't get caught up into doing things to do things. I understand the purpose behind that. We, 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 this do. In remembrance of me. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, we, sir. We 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 commune to remember the purpose of our being. Yes, sir. Hmm. You hear me? Yeah. I'm, I'm, let me tell you, we 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 can get so into ritualistic because the flesh. Hmm overrides the will of the spirit if you allow it. Yes, sir. So it's just a thing for the flesh to do to get to a point to where it's not responding to the spirit. spirit. You know, let me do this ritual yeah. and then I can go on and be in the flesh again. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, uh, Woo. yeah, we, we must be careful to always be mindful of our purpose. Of the purpose. Be heard. Those the things purpose that, that we do. Yes, sir. He said, and do this remembrance of me. You yes. know? And 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 I and I even saw how God even honored the remembrance, the blood of Abel. Yeah. When he died. He said, son, Adam, I mean Cain, I, I hear your brother's blood crying from earth. Yeah. Is it's speaking to look at it. It's speaking to me. Yeah. The innocent blood, basically, innocent blood has been spilled. Because unless you, because obviously you didn't tell me what he did. Look, we to this point of day, we don't know except for the fact that he was envying or, or, or upset with God. 
because of his offering was not respected. Yeah. But 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 Abel was, and so so you kill innocent blood. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. And, and, and the gospel about why God didn't put that in there. You know, the hands that that shed innocent blood. That's a good example. But like I said, I like it. That's even deeper when talk about the fact that, that Jesus was crucified for us, innocent blood. He who without sin. So it doesn't give people to know that. The scripture even said, he who is without sin was crucified. And, 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 and that's innocent blood that was shed on that cross. That was innocent blood that was spilled in the Garden of Gethsemane. So he's telling us, foreshadowing that then about the fact is that he doesn't want hands. He doesn't hate, he only hates hands to shed innocent blood. You know, that's deep, bro. <laughs> that's a good one. That, that's one of the ones you can study even more, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. How about this one? Uh, 18, a heart that devises wicked imaginations. Yeah, you know, I, I dwelled on this because, you know, I, I had to, for a minute, I thought that this was something that uh, I needed to, to obviously uh, meditate on. Okay. And, and I did uh -huh. because, you know, there's times when thoughts come to mind. Right. Uh, and mainly when I'm driving down the street, and someone cuts me off. Oh, I can imagine some some wicked things, you know, devising. You know, I can go cut them off, or you know, I I, I hope they get a ticket, or you know, and and so on and so forth. Yeah. But what I realized is that it is not from my heart mm. that it is devised. Yes, sir. It is the sin that is set up in my members hmm. that manifest these thoughts, but they do not come from my heart. Oh, so man. I, I thank God that he has Woo. shown me <laughs> the difference. Yes, sir. Yes, you know, sir. Uh, that, that. <laughs> yes, well, that's true. Because in other words, is my spirit, man. Yes. You know what I mean? He's connected to the Holy Spirit, and we're yes. not we're not devising mischief. We're not that's not that's not who we are called to do. That's not who we're connected to. You're right. Uh, it is, but is that wow? You know the thing is that the the soul is a spirit part of us mm -hmm. too, right? And, and and that's the part that needs to be renewed anyway. That, yes, amen. And that's where the uh, so I was like devising a mischief. And imagination, and that's what I think when he said then said in Second Corinthians that in three, you know, for the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal, yes, but mighty through God for the pulling down the strongholds, casting down imaginations, man, the high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Amen. So he man. said, so don't think God said if you got if you devise these wicked imaginations. You, where you want to slap somebody on the refrigerator in your case talking about run them off the road or or and, and i'm just saying all of us we god said look if you if you find you catch yourself this is what we really talk about anyway is catch yourself if you're finding yourself in these this list we're talking about you know and in this case catch yourself if you're devising wicked imagination because that's how people are getting murdered in the heart you know murder first comes from the heart Adultery first comes from the heart, you know, then is executed in the flesh. So we want to make sure we don't advise imagination that does that. Here's the other one now, feet. <laughs> that be swift and run into mischief. You know, Amen. the, the one I keep thinking about that one is, you remember back in high school or, 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 or junior high school and maybe elementary school, how we would fight, fight, fight. <laughs> We want to go see the fight, you know? We ain't gonna break up the fight. We want to go see the fight, you know? Uh, and, and, and those type of things that we need to watch our behavior because we still probably do that today, people. Uh, run into the things that leads to destruction. 
And that means they even consider, when you run into it, that means you even considered it. You had time to consider from point A to point B, but you're running to it. That means yeah. that you already thought it out. And you say, I'm gonna go to this situation. This one, you know, is, huh? I, 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 I just was, I was telling my son uh, about, I was coming back from Memphis, coming down Highway 75 and we came up on a bunch of traffic and then as we were moving, you know, real, real slow, we finally got to where uh, there was an accident. I mean, it made me a little upset because it was on the opposite side of the road. You know, everybody was slowing down so that they can see what was going on over there. And it was actually somebody on a motorcycle uh, was hit and that thing was just destroyed. And uh, it was just a bad, bad scene. And uh, so we're moving up and I, and I notice what happened over there. And then I see a car in front of me pull to the side into the emergency center lane. The person got out of the car, hopped over the medium, pulled out their phone and started recording. Oh. And see, and that in my mind is feet that be swift in running to mischief. Mm -hmm. Because at first I thought, well, maybe this is a nurse going to go render help. But once they pulled out the phone and started recording what was going on, you know, you knew that, that that was mischief. It was probably going, getting ready to be posted right directly onto social media mm. for the purpose of self elevating. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so that that just something that came to mind when when I read that. Yeah, here. yeah, that's true. And, and like I said, those, those type of things that I know we did back in uh, in school. And people do do that, but also people are swift to run into any type of bad deed. You got to watch out. Yeah. But God said that's just not acceptable to him. Now, the one that uh, all of this one, 19, affects all of us because we have been caught in that situation one time or another. A mm -hmm. false witness that speaks lies. Somebody oh, yeah. knowingly accusing people of something that they know they didn't do but they did it and it did well you know and don't be surprised that that can happen because they did it to jesus right <laughs> yeah and i take this one personally because <laughs> they, that's me there you know look especially with my parents I, no i did it uh -huh. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> but you know, the sad thing about it when you sit there and cue somebody else, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I, would, I would just myself doing it and then lie about it. <laughs> wasn't me. I don't know who did it. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 but we see that the accusations that people make. Uh, and it mess the bad thing about it when, when you. When you, you, it's almost like the boy that cries wolf over and over again, and then when you tell the truth, nobody's gonna receive you, you know. Uh, but it does hurt, and it has caused there's people in jail today because of a, of, of a lie, you know. Yeah, just of a straight up lie, lives have been oh.